This question is about waves, and more specifically, standing waves. I like this, and a radio frequency analyst, he walks into a bar. We mean literally, right? He goes like, boink, he hits into, into a bar. He says, ooh, that mega hurts. So we've got a situation where we've got a first harmonic being formed in a pipe with two ends that are open. And we're told that that frequency of the first harmonic is 200 hertz. Now the question is asking if we have same length, but this time we have a pipe with one end closed, one end open, what's that frequency of the first harmonic? Now this you really have to understand standing waves. Once you know them though, it's almost like an easy game. So it helps to maybe be able to draw the first harmonic in an open, uh, open pipe like this. And the first harmonic will have a node in the middle, and then it'll start off right here, has to have, to have an anti-node at the top, and then it'll sort of switch like this, and it goes like this. Remember what's really happening, you have to imagine these things going up and down, these are going up and down like that. Now what I think is a good idea maybe is to actually try to draw like this, it represents some length L. So does this, by the way. Right? That's the same length. So let's just look at this first one here and see if we can figure out what's going on here. So in this very first case here, let's look at this. Let's look at what fraction of a whole wave do we have fitting in this length? So do you notice that, I mean, look at this, uh, it starts off from the top and it goes to the middle, then goes to the bottom. In other words, this right here, we're looking at this part of a wave. But to do a whole wave, we'd have to go like that, right? That would be one whole period. So do you notice we have half of a wavelength? Therefore, we can say that L equals the wavelength over two. That was the part that's really important to be able to do these drawings or somehow come up with this relation. That the length is equal to the wavelength over two. Now, of course, they had to make it a little bit harder for us. I said, ah, it's not the wavelength we're giving you. We're giving you the frequency. So then what we need to do is consider, all right, well, how will frequency fit into this? Now you have to go out and get your wave equation. In the formula book, I think it looks like C equals F lambda, but that's actually can be more gener generic. That could be V equals F lambda. That's the equation. That tells you the speed of a wave equals the frequency of that wave times the wavelength. So if I want to do this, then do you see I can replace lambda here? I can say that lambda equals, let's see, I could divide the F to the other side. So V over F. So because of that, do you notice then I can rewrite my initial one here. Instead of saying L is lambda over two, I can say it's V, because that's lambda, right? it's V over F, but there's just there's a two hanging out here from before. So this is what I have. I have L equals V over two F. Uh, in this case right here then, what does that really mean? That means that L equals V over, and what's two times the frequency? The frequency is 200, so two times 200 is 400. So this is really what I'm gonna be looking for actually more important actually than that one. So that's my length in this first one. Now, how does that relate to the second one? In the second example, maybe I'll do this in, yeah, light blue. So in this one right here, I have to draw the wave first. In this uh, second situation here, this is where we have closed at one end, open at the other end. These always have a node at the closed end. And then the first harmonic, it'll just be this one here. The simplest version just goes up like that and like that. So this one here goes up and down on the edges here and like this. If that's the case then, let's try to figure out the relation. How is this length related to the wavelength? If you look at this one right here, um, look at this one. Here we have just one piece of a wave here like this. Do you see how to do the whole wavelength we'd have to have another one, and then another one, and then another one. Do you see that this right here? This is one point, this is another point. These are all quarters. You see we have one quarter of the wavelength, then another quarter, another quarter, another quarter. So we could say then that this length, which by the way, that L is the same. This length is the same as that length. So you can say that L equals, and what do we have? We have um, that wavelength divided by four, because right? we have one fourth of the wavelength. So then we can use this same relation. Remember that we can say, uh, don't forget that lambda is V over F. Uh, maybe I'll put it somewhere else here. Don't forget that lambda is V over F. We can use that in both cases. Not only here, but also I'm going to use it here. See, that's how I use it here, but I also used it here. So in this case right here, I'm going to use it and say fine then. That means my L equals V over F, but this time it's 4F because there was a 4 hanging out there. Uh, all right. So to do this, then remember, the good news is the length is the same. 
So because L equals L, you know, these two different colored lengths, then I can state, then maybe I'll write it in black, then I'll put them all together. So I have V over 400 is going to equal V over 4 times F. Now I can get uh, F by itself. So I put the F up here. So I have uh, F times V over 400 equals V over 4. Now the good news is because it's the same medium, the V's are the same. Okay, so the V's are the same. That's because it's in the same material, it's either air. We haven't actually been told, I don't think. It could be anything, really. Uh, well, I think it's probably air. So this would be like the speed of sound in air, but it would be the same in both situations. So the Vs essentially would cancel out, because V over V will give you 1. So now I'm left with F equals, and if you put this 400 over on the top, 400 over 4, which is uh, 100. So finally, then, I have choice C, which is uh, 100 hertz. That's the answer. So a few, it actually took a few steps. Very often these kind of questions, you know, can be showing up on paper one or on paper two. The key is to understand the diagrams and the drawings. I think once you know those, you can sort of make your way through it. And don't forget, this is your conversion factor. If ever you need to convert things, use V equals F lambda. That gets you between frequency and wavelength.